Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to cover today as a topic of discussion for you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about why men are still having so many problems with the American modernized woman, black women in particular. It's the attitude, it's the lack of cooperation, it's the refusal to submit. And I'm going to play some women who's going to try to tell you that's what you should be doing as a lady. Okay, and I'm going to show you one lady her horrible consequence when she decided to not listen to her man the problem is you don't want to stay in your lane you don't want to stay in pocket you like to get out of pocket women you have to learn how to close your mouths open your ears and listen to what men are saying to you that's the biggest problem you're too busy trying to cut a man off in conversation you're too busy trying to listen to respond to respond instead of listening to understand and that's what's going on with you right now so let's go ahead and play these clips. I'm going to have some um, facts, data, and statistics that are going to blow your mind about this subject as well. Hold on one second as I pull it up. Also, be sure to tune in tonight, 5.30 Central Standard Time for the live stream. I'm going to teach you how to be a boss, Mac, how to use these principles in relationships. I'll talk about it later. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's get to work. I think, honestly, um, submission. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. because I think um, when a woman has been independent for so long, it's, you know what I'm saying, living her own life, making her own decisions, and then you meet somebody, you get married, and then she doesn't know how to submit. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't know. And then we always think submission is like a negative word, but it, it really isn't. You know what I'm saying? It's really giving honor and respect. Did you hear that? Now, what she said is, see, when you have a woman who lives that hyper independent life, a woman who says, I have my PhD, I have my master's, I have my bachelor's, I don't need no man because I make so much money. What it does is conditions you to not be functional in a relationship with a real man because you already see yourself as the man. You already have placed yourself and thrown yourself into the position of masculinity. So therefore, you have sacrificed your femininity. Now, for every ounce of masculinity that a woman puts in her own life every ounce she puts into that she loses an ounce of femininity every time she tries to become hard and tough she loses softness and the ability to be gentle you get what i'm saying the more of a man the more masculinity that a woman displays in her actions in her words in her attitude the less femininity that she has see in this situation it's like what the scriptures say. You can't get both bitter and sweet water from the same fountain. You can't get both masculinity and femininity from the same woman. It's going to be one or the other. So if a woman is overly masculine, she is over domineering. You get what I'm saying? She's trying to be that boss chick. She's trying to be that baddie. She's trying to be the, the master of the universe. When she's like that, there's no femininity in her. And when they say... I will be submissive and feminine for the right man. You cannot turn that on and turn that off like that. Like this woman just said, when you're used to living a certain way, a life of being a masculine woman, you cannot submit. And the way that you view submission, it's like she said, you see it as a negative word. You see it as something negative. You act like someone said they're going to slap your mama. Your attitude towards submission, your attitude towards cooperation, your attitude towards listening to a man, understanding a man is bad. Your outlook on relationships are horrible. That's the reason why you're suffering in today's world when it comes to relationships. Let's keep going. It's like a negative word, but it, it really isn't. You know what I'm saying? It's really giving honor and respect, you know, to your husband. Why would you not want to do that, right? And so I think a lot of women, we don't know how to submit because it could be how we were raised. We never saw it in our family or we just really don't even understand what the word really means. Now, let's break this down. She said that submission is the same thing as honor and respect. Now, when you go to work and you submit to your supervisor lady, when you submit to the CEO, when you submit to the CFO, when you submit to the person that's over you who calls the shots and assigns tasks to you, you are showing your supervisor honor and respect by not going against what the supervisor is telling you to do. 
So how come you can't submit to your man like that? Let me tell you why. A woman will only submit to something or someone that she values. If she will not submit to a man, she does not value that man. A woman who values her job submits to her supervisor. A woman who values an education, who is trying to get her degree, she submits to the professors and the teachers of that institution, of that university, of that college, because she values it. So she's willing to submit to all the policies of that school, all the policies of that university, all the policies of that college, the dress code or whatever it may be there. She'll submit to those rules. She don't mind being ruled by strangers. But when it comes to the man being the head of the household, when it comes to the man ruling her, she rejects She rejects that. She bucks against that because she don't value that man. She doesn't value that relationship. Can you dig what I'm saying, Jack? That's what I'm telling you. She doesn't value you. A woman will only value who she respects. If a woman don't value you, she don't respect you. If a woman don't value you, if she doesn't value you, she's not considerate of how you feel. She doesn't see you as a leader. She will only submit to who she values. Now, I got some more to show you. I'm going to share the consequence of when a woman don't listen. One second, homie. Um, I'm trying to find it for you. You know how I get down. Give me a moment or two as I pull it up on the screen for you. Here it is. And make sure y'all can see it. And after this, I'm going to go to the facts, data, and statistics that's going to blow your mind about this topic. Let's get it. When I was with the father of my child, he would always tell me something and I would just like not want to listen. But in the end, he always ended up right. I feel March. like March. in general, it's it's not equal. I feel like a man will always be top of the top, no matter what. Exactly. See, this is a woman who learned her lesson as she sit there among other musty back heifers. She learned her lesson. And I've went through that before in my lifetime. Many of men, many men have went through that before when they have had a hard-headed, long-haired mule of a woman, a rebellious woman, a woman who thinks she know everything, a woman that is just stubborn, head like a brick. You can't tell her nothing. You tell her something, she thinks you wrong, no matter what you say. But if somebody else tells her the same exact thing that you told her, she'll listen to those, those people because she values their opinion. She'll let these cousins, she'll let these sisters, she'll let these brothers, she'll let these father, she'll let this mother, she'll let this co-worker give her instruction that she will go by, that she will submit to. But when it comes to her own husband or her man, her significant other, he can't instruct her to do shit. She, he can't direct her to do nothing. She can't be corrected by him. A woman like that can never be directed, okay? Because if you cannot be corrected, then you cannot be directed because correction ain't nothing but direction. And if you don't want to listen to what a man says to you, then you deserve all the negative consequences that are coming your way. And believe me, whenever a man is not listened to, I'm talking about a good man, a man who has wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and discernment, a man who's about his grind, a man who is on his purpose. Whenever that type of caliber of man is not listened to by the woman that he is with, hard times and hardships is going to come to that woman. I've seen it too many times in my own lifetime. Like they said, the old folks back in my day, a hard head makes a soft behind. And that's what you got right now with this lady. Let's go ahead and keep going. Be top of the top, no matter what. Okay. I feel like for, not for, just for me, but I feel like it also depends on everybody else and what they believe in. Like for me, I'm Haitian, of course. So in my culture, it's the man is right. He is the man. You as a woman back down and you need to listen to him. Mm. That's another thing. Culture, culture, culture. The westernized woman, her culture is to rebel. Her culture is my body, my choice. Her culture is I'm an independent bee. I'm hyper independent. You can't tell me nothing. Culture, all a culture is in any country is just a way of doing things. It's just a way of thinking, a way of dressing, a way of talking, a way of celebrating, a way of having certain type of customs, but it all comes down to being taught. You have to be taught a culture. So we live in a culture right now where our women are not being taught how to be women. We are living in a culture right now where our young men are not being taught how to be young men. We have young men that are being taught how to be men by women. Make that make sense to me. Because a lot of these women, they have pushed the fathers out of their homes. And fathers, black fathers, 
statistically are the best fathers when it comes to parents in America. Look it up for yourself. The black man is the most active and the most proactive when it comes to their children. You always talk about the ones who are not doing that, the very small percentage, the very small subculture of men in our black community, okay? If you don't have a man teaching a young boy how to be a man, how you think he's going to be a man? And you know, if you don't have these women out here teaching other young girls how to be a woman, how is she going to become a woman? The only thing, the only way she can become anything is going to fall down to, come all down to influences. Social media influences. Music influences. TV, movies, reality TV shows influences how women are portrayed. That is what's going to influence her. The streets are what's going to influence her. You have to teach your daughter to be wise. Everyone has common sense. Some of us act like we don't. But you have to build upon the foundation of common sense. You have to teach your daughter how to cook. That ain't something you born with. You have to take time and spend time with your daughters. But the problem is you women don't want to do that. You women want to spend more time at the job. You women want to spend more time with your girls. You women want to spend more time in the club. You women want to spend more time drinking and sniffing and popping pills and getting trains ran on you by Pookie, Ray Ray, and Nook Nook. You want to spend more time with your legs in the air. You want to spend more time talking about how bad men are. You want to spend more time talking about how bad your baby daddy is. You want to spend more time flirting with different men. You want to spend more time competing with your daughter. You want to spend more time dressing more sexier than your daughter. You want to spend more time trying to compete with how many more friend requests you can get from random men than your daughter. That is what's going on right now. So you have to teach. You have to teach them a culture of stability you have to teach you have to teach them the culture of cooperating with their men you're not teaching your daughters how to be wives they don't have the mindset of wives because a lot of you women don't have the mindset of wives you put too much stock in your appearance you think oh i look like this i'm bad i got curves that's enough to be a wife no that is at almost at the bottom of the list when it comes to being a wife. Your appearance is only the initiation. It only gets your foot in the door. It's the qualities of your character that makes relationships work. Just keep on going. I still got to get to these statistics. The woman back down and you need to listen to him. Mm. So it's also depending on that. But for me, I feel like men, if a man really loves you, and he's especially your husband because that's a big title he doesn't want anything bad for you right so i feel like and also men people say women are emotional creatures but i also feel like men are emotional but they just don't show it Mm -hmm. so i feel like a man is not gonna have his wife or his partner's worst interests at heart right so you said look in retrospect i wish i had listened more right yeah and if you could go back and you had listened, would you still be with him? Yeah. Would he still? Would he? Would would there have ever even been the problems that there was that led to that ending? No. If I listened, there would. So all you had problems. to do was what? Listen. Submit. Yep. Submit. Shut up. submit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You see, when you don't submit, you destroy your marriages and your relationships. The one who got away did not get away. You pushed them away. He ran away because he couldn't stay in that environment that you produced because you wouldn't submit, because you wouldn't shut the fuck up, just because you wouldn't listen. That's why the one who got away got away. The one who got away, he caught a Lamborghini. He got an Uber Lyft. He got a got. He drove the hell out of there. He got, he, he got out of there. He got he called up a Lyft. He called an Uber. He got on a horse and got away from you. Every man should do that. Now. I'm going to put these uh, facts up here for you. One second. One second I'll find them for you. Yeah, y'all better tune in tonight, man. It's going to be a wild one for this live stream, man. A lot of game going to be talked. Okay, now here we go. Now, my source is... Let me make sure it's on your screen first. Yeah, it is. All right, read this. My source is the American Psychological Association for this. It says, sexism pays... Study finds men who hold traditional views of women earn more than men who don't. Now, this is about the women who complain about men wanting women to be in a gender role, complaining about men who want women to be traditional, who want them to be cooperative, who want them to be feminine, who want them to be submissive to them. This is why I did this right here, okay? Most men who think like that, most men who think like me, 
tend to make more money than other men do. And I'm a, that's that's a, a study, and I'm gonna show you the numbers with that. Let's get it. Now, Timothy, this same article now, all right? It said, Timothy, judge, PhD. I had to say PhD because women love those three letters. They love to say PhD. So hope you listen to this man who has a PhD. Timothy Judge, PhD in um, Beth Livingston from the University of Florida analyzed data from a nationally representative study of men and women who were interviewed four times between 1979 and 2005. A total of 12,686 people aged between 14 to 22 at the beginning of the study participated. There was a 60% retention rate over the course of the study. Results were published in the September issue of the Journal of Applied Psychology published by the American Psychological Association. I said that to say this right here. The researchers, all right? The researchers look specifically at gender roles as a predictor of personal earnings. They controlled for job complexity, number of hours worked in education. Their analysis showed that men in the study who said they had more traditional gender role attitudes made an average of about $8,500 more annually than those who had less traditional attitudes. Now, let me break that down for you, homie. Let me, let me make it cook. Let me cook for you. Go ahead. Get you a bowl. We're going to cook. You know what I mean? Get your bowls ready. And I got everything seasoned up in the pot. I'm finna stir that motherfucker up. And I'm finna give you a spoonful of the help in there. Now, why do men make more money who think traditionally than those who don't? Well, let's think of like them. An example of a man who don't think traditionally. Ooky, Ray Ray, or Nook Nook. The type of men who don't care about working. The type of men who are lazy, lackadaisical when it comes to trying to even put forth effort to be a success. These are the type of men, they would not push their woman to be more than what they are. For example, if the woman work at the dollar store and she is just an employee, that pookie, that Ray Ray, that Nook Nook would never try to uh, push her to be the manager of the store. Okay? A pookie, Ray Ray, or Nook Nook doesn't want much out of life. A pookie Ray Ray Nook Nook are the type of men that will live off a woman. He'll move in with a woman. Her name is on the lease. That woman will dress that man. That woman will put money in that man's pocket. That woman will let that man drive her car. That's the type of man that that is not making that kind of money. Because that is not a traditional gender role. A man want to be able to stand on his own two feet. A man don't want a woman to take care of him. A man don't want a woman to dress him. A man don't want a woman to let him borrow her car. That's not what a traditional man thinks like. So therefore, that's why he don't make as much money as a man who thinks like me or men who are traditional role-minded. Because we got the mindset of, we got to go get it. We got to go slay that dragon out there. We got to make it happen. We got to get something more. We always thinking about getting more and more and more. We want to be successful. We want to maintain success. We want to get success, gain, maintain that success, gain some more success, maintain that success, gain some more success. We want to keep going until we can't go no more. We want to go till the wheels fall off. That's what most traditional men are. That's what we are. That's why we make more money. So when you say you want a man who allows you to be independent, you want a man who's going to sit back while you drive, you most likely going to get a man who make less than a man who actually thinks the opposite. Yeah. Now I got some more to show you. I got a lot more. Give me a second or two to put it up for you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. We on your ass today, baby. Now, this is an interesting thing what this lady said here. Let's play it. Let's get it. I'll make sure it's on the screen first. Yeah, I, I, I like the other way better. Just a preference, of course, for me, but let's play it. My recent marriage proposal from a vendor man, he said to me, when will you ever submit? And I said to him, when will you ever teach me the garden? Ooh. Because I submit to what you submit yeah. to. And if your leadership qualities are distorted, I have nothing to submit to. Be That's what I want to play. I want you to, re this is really deep what she's saying. Other people get offended with what she said, but you got to look beyond that. I'm going to tell you why. She's right. All right. Many women submit to men who are submitted to mediocrity. There are men who want to stay in the streets. There are men who keep staying in trouble with the law. There are men who keep going in and out of jail. There are men who don't want to be a good father. There are men who don't want to step up and be a man. But you'll find women 
who submit to Pookie, who submit to Ray Ray, who submit to Nook Nook, and everyone else like them. See, when you submit to a man, you are submitting to everything that that man submits to. You get what I'm saying? Because a man is not supposed to submit to a woman. A woman is, is supposed to submit to a man. So whatever that woman submits to, whoever that woman submits to, she is submitting to the value system of that man. She is submitting to the principles of that man. She is submitting to the points of view of that man. She is submitting to the outlooks of that man. She is submitting to the encouragement of that man. She is submitting to the spirituality of that man. She is submitting to the mentality of that man. She is submitting to the emotional state of being of that man. She is, stating, she is submitting to the financial well-being of that man. So whenever a woman picks a man, or when a man chooses her to be in a relationship with him, whoever she decides to submit to, she is submitting to more than just a man. She is submitting to that man's ideal of manhood. When you have a man, like a pookie, ray ray, a nook nook, a no good for man, a trifler man, a low life man, then once you submit to him, you will always have hardships, pains, trauma bonds, STDs, possible babies out of wedlock because you are submitting to the mindset of that man. Some men believe it's okay to knock up women. These are not the traditional men. These are not the men like myself and the men who watch my program who are trying to be a better version of themselves each and every day. That's not how we think. But there are a subculture or subsect of men who think like that. And when you get yourself involved with a man like that, this is why gentlemen who are trying to make a better version of themselves, this is why you keep running into these women because they have submitted to trash. They have submitted to filth. You get what I'm saying? This is why these women have so many trauma bonds, so many different baby daddies, so many insecurities. Because they was not mindful of what it is that they need to submit to. A woman who is truly feminine, who is operating in her feminine nature, operating in her feminine, a feminine energy, would be able to discern a man who is actually walking in his alpha masculinity. Because a man, think about it, when a man is truly masculine, when a man knows his value and his worth, he knows when he look at a woman or deal with a woman, if he wants to be with her based on her behavior, based on the vibe, based on the energy that he is receiving from her. If she is not acting feminine towards him, then the masculinity that is in that man will repel that woman and look elsewhere for a woman who is feminine. The same thing about a woman who is feminine. If a woman is feminine in action, and actually moving in her feminine energy, she will have the discernment to tell who is a real masculine man. And masculinity is often displayed not only through demeanor and swag, but through accomplishments and achievements that a man has brought in his life because a man always strives to be progressive. A man always strives to have a lot of things, material things, assets, so on, so forth. So if a woman is not moving in her feminine energy, she will pick the wrong man. If a woman is a broken woman, she'll pick a broken man. If a woman is insecure, she'll pick an insecure man. If a woman is jealous, she'll pick a jealous man. If a woman have no idea what femininity is, then she will pick a man who has no idea of what masculinity is. Can you dig it? So a woman has to operate in her feminine nature to pick the right one but again like i said before she has to be taught certain things she has to be taught what feminine what femininity is in order for her to move in it this is where the women of today have failed their daughters let's keep going distorted i have nothing to submit to then i'm just letting go of myself I'm fully much aware of what a man is yeah. and what a man needs to be. I can't teach you that, uh -huh. but I can see it in your actions. I can okay. see it. I can discern it. So for me, if you're not my king, don't ask me for my hand in marriage. Don't. Who is this guy? I'm not desperate for you. <laughs> now you heard what she said? She said she can discern it. If she's moving in her feminine mindset, she can pick up on it. Even real men can pick up when they're around fake men. We could tell a dude is weak. We could tell a dude is cowardly. We could tell a dude ain't about that life. We could tell when a dude ain't going to stand up for himself. We could tell a man is full of shit. Because we're moving in our masculine energy. We could tell when a man is feminine. When I say that, I mean like weak as hell, cowardly. We could tell when a man is not an alpha. We can tell when he's a beta male. When y'all want to say sigma, go ahead, throw it in there too. Sigma, sigma, alpha, I don't really give a damn. I represent manhood. But we can tell when a man is not operating as a man, okay? We can sense that because we are moving in our masculine energy. 
You get what I'm saying? Again, I'm, this will be the last. Oh, no. I might do one more today before I do it. Because I got to, um, yo, yo, I'm telling you. Tune in tonight at 530 Central Standard Time. I'm doing a, a live stream. I'm going to make a video, but I'm going to do a live stream. This live stream came from a um, subscriber who turned into a member. Uh, he pays a monthly membership. And he want me to tell him some stuff about how to deal with women. So it won't be a reaction video. So I wrote down some notes and stuff, man. I'm going to give you the game. I'm going to show you how to know when you're with the right woman, how to know if you really is her type, regardless of what she say. I'm going to show you how to um, what to look for. I'm going to show you how to value yourself. I'm going to show you how to find the right one. I have a lot of things. I'm going to give you a whole lot of game tonight at 530 Central Standard Time. So holler at your boy. I'll be here for you. You're going to enjoy it, man. So if you're not, you know, I know y'all catch the replay gang and all that stuff, man. But, hey, check it out, man. I think you're really going to like it. Well, anyway, y'all take it easy now. Like I always say, I'm trying to find an outro and stuff. But y'all take it easy now. Yeah, here. Yeah.